so we are going to calculate the theoretical yield of aspirin. So if you start with three grams of salicylic acid and eight milliliters of acetic anhydride. Uh, so the density of acetic anhydride has been given to you. Um, so this is 1.08 grams per mil. So if I were to start drawing out, so unfortunately they did not give you the chemical formula. Um, so I will provide it for you. I had to, to look up the molecular formula of each. So uh, salicylic acid is C7H6O3. Uh, acetic acid is C2H4O2. That gives uh, aspirin, which is acetosalicylic acid. So that's C9H8O4. Um, and then this reaction, um, if you were to draw out the mechanism, if you drew out the or like the actual structures of each, uh, it's you end up releasing water, so you lose H2O. Um, so uh, you should double check to make sure it's balanced. So we have nine carbons on the reactant side, nine carbons on the uh, product side, 10 hydrogens on the reactants, 10 hydrogens on product, five oxygens on the reactant side, and five oxygens on the uh, product side. So uh, we don't have to do any balancing, which is awesome. Um, so now, if we want to figure out the theoretical yield, we need to figure out which is the limiting reaction reagent. So are we going to run out of salicylic acid first or acetic acid? So now we need to calculate the number of moles of each, uh, similar to what we did before. So we have three grams. This is C7H6O3. This is for a salicylic acid. So we started with three grams. The molecular weight um, ends up being 138.12 grams. Uh, so this gives us 0 0.022 moles of aspirin, or of, um, sorry, salicylic acid. I will do the same with um, acetic acid, but we need to do an extra calculation because they gave us um, the amount in milliliters, but they did give us the density. So we have started with eight mils. So now we need to convert it into grams before we can convert it into moles. So using the density, eight mils times 1.08 grams per mil. Then the molecular weight is one mole over 60.05 grams, which gives you 0 0.14 moles of acetic acid. Um, so now we need to convert into moles of a product to figure out what our limiting reagent is. Um, so. Uh, you could pick either product, it doesn't matter. Um, so the calculation is very simple because uh, there are no coefficients in our balanced equation. So multiply, I'll just write out for completion's sake. One mole of aspirin over one mole of salicylic acid. So you end up with the same number, 0 0.022 moles of aspirin. Do the same thing with acetic acid. You see you end up with 0 0.14 moles of aspirin from acetic acid. So uh, because um, salicylic acid gives us the least number of product, the least number of moles of product. This is our limiting reagent. Oops, sorry. Okay, 
So that is the number we are going to use to calculate out the theoretical yield. So if we ended up with 0.022 moles of aspirin, we multiply that by the, its um, molecular weight, so we can get it into grams. So the molecular weight of aspirin is 180. 180.16 sorry grams per mole moles cancel out so theoretically if we added in three grams of acetic uh, sal, uh, salicylic acid and eight mils of acetic acid we would end up with if everything went perfectly 3.96 grams of aspirin